New sunscreen day. <laughs> this is the burst. Oh, okay. Has one of these little, little toothpaste tops on it. It says smooth a penny size amount into skin. A penny size amount? That's not enough. Who, who's given these instructions? That's not enough. A penny sized amount? All right, if I was to use a penny sized, is that a penny size? That's not enough. That's not enough first. I didn't know this was gonna be tinted. Let's see here. I hope this isn't gonna be orange because it looks a little orange coming out of the bottle. All right, so if I was only gonna use a penny size, <laughs> smells like paint. It smells like paint. Why is my, I'm sorry, my phone is crooked. <laughs> it smells like paint. A penny size amount of this. We know that's not enough, so I'll have to put two layers on. Yeah, I need I need more. <laughs> wow. But, I mean, there's no white cast. So that's good. There's no white cast. It feels like a thick moisturizer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another penny sized amount. I'm gonna try this out for a week unless I absolutely hate it. <laughs> it has iron oxides in it, but it has like aloe, jojoba, moringa. It, it does feel thick. Oh, it does not have that lightweight, lightweight feel. All right, so, so far I've used three penny sized <laughs> And here we go for four penny sized amounts. And it said you only needed one for face and neck. People going to get skin cancer. <laughs> People going to get skin cancer if they follow the directions on the back of this one. I'm gonna let this dry down. Hopefully I won't, it won't feel thick once it dries down. I'm gonna give it 10 to 15 minutes. Here's what it looks like right now. It looks natural. Natural with a slight glow. I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And did it dry down? It feels slightly tacky, but I'm not mad at it. It is slightly glowy, but like a glow from within. I really like how it looks. It makes my skin look healthy on its own. I did want to point out some conflicting information between the box and the actual sunscreen. The box says to massage a nickel size dollop into, into the skin, <clears throat> whereas the bottle says a penny. Now I know a penny and a nickel are close in size, but a nickel is still larger than a penny. Anyway, about it, you saw how much I had to use. That's, that's not enough. Like that's, that's gonna one, cause burning and two, not prevent skin cancer. So I feel like Verse needs to get it together with their dosage requirements. Um, I do like that they put on the back that you're supposed to wait 10 minutes for it to settle into skin, which I like. I think more skincare companies should put that on their packaging because then people would know that they need to wait before applying to other stuff. I also wanted to point out that it says to avoid using products with silicones before and after application, which says to me that it might peel with silicones. It does not feel like it's peeling on my skin, but I don't, I didn't use any silicones. My moisturizer this morning was the Biosance with the rose because I ran out of my regular moisturizer. So I've been moisturizing with this. Sorry, I cut out really quick there. My husband walked into the, <laughs> into the bathroom and I knew he was gonna be like, why is she talking into her phone? Makeup set down gorgeous on top of this. Yeah, no problem at all. Looks, it looks great. I put my Amisha BB cream <laughs> on top. You know I did. You know I did. But now I get to go play around with my daughter. She's five and she wants to play around with some eyeshadow. We don't, she doesn't have school today. So we're gonna go play around with some makeup. I'll check back in in two hours with you and tell you how it wore. Hi, <laughs> it's me. That, that's my daughter, Finley. <laughs> we're headed, we're headed to the post office, but I wanted to do a two hour check-in of the sunscreen. It is sitting beautifully underneath my foundation, my face. 
<laughs> yes, we put eyeshadow on her for today. It doesn't feel too sticky. It didn't mess with the foundation. I've got no peeling, no weird texture. I think it looks great. I'm excited to continue using this for a week. This dries down beautifully. It has a slight satin finish. It looks shinier than it is because I'm under the fluorescent lights. Oh, it just, it sets down so nice. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel sticky. <laughs> now I just need this in an SPF 50, please. I love it. Yes, I said it. I love it. The foundation that you use on top of your sunscreen really does make a difference in how your skin looks. So I've been using this with my Misha BB cream and it looked fantastic. But just now today, I tried it with a matte foundation, the Dior, what is this, Forever? And I don't know if you can see this or not, but I have a lot of texture, almost like bumps and wrinkles all the way through here, around, it just emphasized all my te texture. So I just wanna throw that out there because so far that's the only negative I see about the sunscreen. My apologies for the ugly background. <laughs> I am sick today. I've got the beginning of a cold. I feel like crap. <laughs> so uh, you're getting me at my desk here with my chai tea, might I add. Um, hot, dirty chai. Mm. Final thoughts about the Versed sunscreen. I loved it, honestly. However, the box does give a warning about reactive skin. And I didn't think I had reactive skin, but I noticed every day when I put it on, my face got a little redder, just slightly more pink tone, which I have pink tone skin. And my skin started feeling bumpy. Now I wasn't, I'm not using any other new skincare, makeup, nothing on my face that's new. The only thing that's been new is been, has been the Versed sunscreen. And I've noticed I have little bumps. I have them on this morning too, and I'm testing on a new sunscreen. Uh, a completely different one. I'm testing out the Bliss Block Star, but I think I'm going to have to stop and just go back to using one of the sunscreens I know doesn't cause me to have weird, bumpy, textured skin until this goes away. Hi, editing Sean from the future. <laughs> I wanted to pop in. It's a couple weeks later. Okay, it's like three weeks later since what, since what you just saw. And that bumpy texture, I, when I was filming this, Evidently, I had what's called fifth disease, which is a childhood disease, which my kindergartner had. And I had no idea that adults could get it. So you hear me talking about the bumpy skin and texture. Well, that turned into full blown red cheeks and my whole face ended up with a rash on it. That, so I stopped using sunscreen, I stopped using skincare, I ended up with flu-like symptoms. I was a hot mess. So disregard, this sunscreen does not cause a virus, <laughs> did not cause my bumpy textured skin. So my review from the beginning of the week where I enjoyed the sunscreen, that is the accurate review. I will continue using the sunscreen. I actually have already been using it again after getting rid of my virus. <laughs> So I just want to pop that in there for you. Today is a great day to wear a sunscreen and it might just be this one.